So I picked up a big score of cool, a cool 90s stuff. In front of me we got, of course, the Worm, Rodman, and it's 95 Fleer Ultra. And I love these cards. This was like, when I was younger, I'd buy the packs of these. And when I saw this big 90s lot, I had to jump on it. But like, guys, this is a really good example of what will happen to cards with metallic finishes over time. The over the set was overall that I picked up was in pretty good condition, but it just like I've said it before, like oxidized spots or just like really old fingerprints. There's like a big spot right here, a little bit of a bend in the corner. But um, I want to go after the surface first on this. So if you guys run across stuff like this, being that there's like buildup and things like that, you guys, I this this card I can use my polish on and it will look really good, but we got to get it cleaned up first. And there's just stuff like this that a microfiber, like those fingerprints are real, probably old. I don't know what that is. I don't even know if it will clean up all the way, but I'll give you guys a fair example of what it what it can do. So I'm just gonna use my little trusty piece of cotton. Let's put two sprays on it. Um, I just want to be able to loosen up whatever's on this card and get it clean and then put a little shine on it. I'm a, you know, born and raised Metro Detroit, so I got to see Dennis in the early days with the with the bad boys and the pistons and he's just a wild guy man he's very entertaining to me and the more you learn about him the more remarkable the guy just is um, let's see sometimes these oxidized spots on the older cards you guys they just i don't know they just they just settle in and they don't come off but sometimes you can get lucky and get them off all right so that's enough with that so i'm going to go in here with a microfiber and that was the spray. I just wanted to get the hard fingerprints and junk off. All right. Let's see how we did. Pretty good. Actually really good. I still see some stuff up there. Let me see if I can get that off with the spray. And if not, we're gonna try to use the polish on it too. Cards like this, they polish up really nice, they'll get really shiny. Because even though the spray is pulling off some of that just old air, or just, you know, stuff that gets in a top loader or whatever, the, um, the polish will give it a really good shine. Yep, I got that part up. Okay, so let's just move on real quick. And I will work on this little corner, you guys, off air. I won't make you watch it. Sometimes you got to work on little corners and edges for, you know, two minutes. And sometimes it feels like, you know, a half hour. But I'll give it a shot. I know it's not a super valuable card, but it's a good card to demo on. Okay, guys, so spray went on there and removed the dirt. Now we're going to do polish. And I, you guys are probably seeing me use these more and more. I like these little applicators. I've had uh, enough customers say that, hey, we got big hands and, you know, sometimes I get a little nervous like around the edges and stuff and I get that. So feel free to use an applicator. Uh, let's just do half a card at a time, you guys. I want you to be able to see the results. And you guys, I make um, everything that I use. These are, these are all my... Um, <laughs> all my whole my blends on what I'm trying to say are my my products and I want to stress you guys I know sometimes it might be strange seeing somebody put something on a basketball card like this and be like what the heck is this guy doing um really guys I'm just trying to always just restore cards back to like the factory finish by not adding anything to the card or um trying to alter it anyway I, I'm just really you know, base these products on cleaning it and getting down to the uh, kind of like the factory finish, like I just said. So, um, you, I don't put any sort of abrasives or any scents or um, anything like that. Like, it looks so sweet, you guys. Like, I still see maybe a little bit at the top. 
And you guys, uh, I guess let me introduce myself. Thanks for watching for five minutes. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. So let's flip this around and we'll do the bottom. Same deal. I'm just going to use a little bit of polish. Now, you guys, I make this product so it doesn't um, stay on the card, of course. Yeah, you know, I, I don't want, I don't want to uh, try to tamper with your cards or get anything on the surface that's not safe. So what we'll do, guys, is you'll see me put this on quick and move it off quick. It's not an it's not an oily product, so it doesn't just sit there forever. It dries quickly, and that's helpful because it will dry onto whatever's on there and help you remove it. But also, um, I'm just advising to move quick with it so it doesn't dry on you. And if it ever does, you guys, if you ever get a little bit of dry on there, polish removes polish. So don't worry. Just go back in there and put a little touch on top. You guys, this is like why I started making these products a few years ago because I love looking for older cards. You know, I love 90s stuff and I'm a card collector. I love it all, but... I was always finding cards that would get dirty like this, and therefore I, you know, made the products you're seeing me use today. Now, we're going to do another one, but it looks great. I'll take a picture, but, like, there's a shack, you guys. So, like, <laughs> after, before, this one's nasty, too. So, there's the dentist. Let's give it a good look. Oh, you know what I'll do, you guys, before I move this? Let me just move this real quick. Pardon me. I'm going to work on that corner just briefly and see if we can get that to lay down. Uh, where's my tools? Here it is. All right. So, you guys, this is my corner tool. I um, just a hobby of mine is I, I, I like art. I'm, I, I like to draw and paint, so I made this feel like a pencil. So, that's what this is, you guys. So, I know it's funny looking, but... I'm sure all of you guys, you know, a lot of guys that are probably watching this are into taking care of cards and doing what I do. And everybody's got their own ways, but this has just worked well for me. It's got a nice tubing on it where it's almost like I can use my finger on the card, but I don't have to take the risk of like pressing out the wrong way because I can just manipulate the tubing over the bumps. And sometimes you can get lucky and get corners and edges to lay back into place. Sometimes if they're bent, like just you have the bend line, they're not going to go anywhere. But uh, let me just look through the phone, you guys. I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to lightly go over this corner and try to push that foil back to the edge where it came from. If you got a big dent and or a big line, a big bend in the corner, it's probably not even going to happen, you guys. But if you have little curls or little bumps, you can typically work on them. Let's see. Hmm, I did pretty good. I can still see a little bit of it. I'll work on it more, but I just really was wanting to show you guys the uh, the attractive, like, kind of shine you can put back on these cards. So it looks awesome. Let's do let's do one more, you guys. Let me put Shaq up here. This one has a little bit more. This one has a little bit more problems. It has uh, like scratches up here. When you see scratches on gold, it's hard to fix and scratches suck, you know, but sometimes, you know, if we get lucky, if they're not super deep into the cards finish, you can, you can lift them up or get them to go away or tone them down a little bit or sometimes nothing. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same, same thing here, guys. Let's start with the cotton, new piece of cotton spray. I'm going to clean it first. Oh, sorry, you guys. I'm like hitting the foam left and right. Bear with me. And you guys will see me use this like little penny sleeve just to keep my fingers off the card. It might be obvious, but I'm happy to explain what I'm doing. I know some of the viewers have done this a million times and some people are, you know, just, you know, maybe new and wondering how, how they can take care of their cards in a, you know, safe, easy way. So thank you guys for checking it out. <clears throat> Let's go back over it. There just comes a point when you're using a microfiber where sometimes you can't remove any more of the fingerprints or the, you know, the stuff that builds up on it. So in that case, you guys, the, the spray will do the job. 
All right, so it's clean, it's shiny, but there's some, there's some, there's some stuff going on, you guys. So let me show you what, let's see, let's find out together. Let's see what we can do. <clears throat> now I'm gonna switch over, put a little polish on it. I appreciate you guys when you send me pictures and ask my advice on stuff like, you know, I'm proud to show off sometimes how we can lift off like a print line or something like that. But I tell you guys, some of that stuff's like the most severe things you'll run into. And like, if you have a big line or a big scratch on a card, unfortunately and ethically, there's not like a really safe way to do it. I mean, I would never want to like try to sand down the clear coat of a card or something like that. It's just, that's beyond me, but you know, Cleaning them up this way, if it's minor stuff, you'll get good results, really good results. And sometimes it's the minor stuff that just holds back your card from another grade higher, of course. All right. I'll do the bottom part, guys. So hang with me, we'll do the whole thing. I see a lot of, you know, unfortunately scratches on this one. I know these are only probably worth a couple bucks each, but they're kind of like the guys I grew up watching, so they got more sentimental value to me than anything else. And who knows, right? That's why we collect them, save them. Who knows what, uh, what could happen next. All right, let's give it a look over after one treatment. Yep, look at that, guys. There's, it sure is shiny in the right places, but that's just ain't gonna happen. You know, when you get stuff in there that's like that, it just ain't gonna happen. But I know this might not be like, oh, this is the best, not the best promotional video to show a card cleaning product, but really, guys, it's just honest. Like, sometimes you'll be able to fix them and sometimes not and like i said scratches suck the most sometimes those print lines you'll see me clean up it's almost like the uh print line is on top of the clear coat on those modern cards and it's almost like just needs like a good like lift or clean up and it pulls up but if it goes into the card surface it's uh sometimes the card's done but Always worth a shot. As you see, it's not hard to try, and it doesn't hurt the card by any means. Yep, yeah, guess that's uh, there's some limitations. Stuff like that's hard to get out. So if uh, you were just going to, you know, get into my products for one card and you got a card that with scratches that heavy in it, as you see, it's not, it's, it's good stuff, but it's not a magic wand. It, uh, it will get out a lot of things and it'll shine up a lot of stuff, but some things are just not, not going to happen. But it's another thing, guys, too. Like, I'm, I'm totally aware that people use, like, automotive polishes or waxes and things like that. And I always test my products um, versus like leading competitive like automotive stuff and I've never even seen anything like outperform my stuff by any ways and like I shared you guys I, I keep all the garbage out of it so it doesn't uh, doesn't smell doesn't scratch up your card and won't mess it up in any ways but let's bring Dennis back here guys and we'll wrap it up so this card was cleaner it had a lot of well it had a lot of stuff on it but that lifted up nice then the shack, man, we tried for you, shack, but the card looks clean and pretty, but just couldn't remove them. So, hope this helps you guys. I just always want to shoot straight and be transparent. There's some things you can fix, there's some things you can't, but it's always worth a shot. If you have any questions, hit me up anytime, you guys, and 
I appreciate all the good camaraderie and you guys thank you so much for checking out my channel and checking out my work. I am Kurt with Kurt's Card Care.